Hello everyone. Hey Silverfish, coming in with the curse squished blep. Love it. Hey PCG, what's up? What's up? PCG, it's really funny that you keep coming with the hey mommy because like it's- I just can't respond with hey daddy because that would be too cursed. You know what I mean? But also hello, how you doing? I need to do this. Like that would just be like a little bit too cursed. I think. But how's everybody doing today? We are in super, the super flat hardcore world. Hello, Pug. How's it going? Today was long, guys. Today just kind of sucked. Not willing to give me a dose of my own medicine. Fair. Yeah, and it's it's a hundred percent my own personal desire not to say that. <laughs> it's milk. Yes, it's milk. Honestly, guys, today was, um, long. So, yeah. Small brain is going derp. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's fair. That's 100% fair, I think. Today just kind of sucked a little bit, so I want to be chill today. There is a tadpole. Hi, tadpole. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. I see Kinkasina, Black Pad Launder, Sally Salt, Stardust, now a Mike, Marcus, Ryzy, Yumi, oh my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Tadpole. Thank you so much for the raid. Glad to see that your farm produced a creeper. Or sorry, not a creeper, a spider. That singular spider. That's so exciting. <laughs> Hi, Daddy Bones. Welcome in. The Grey Knight as well. Silverfish Stone raiding in and a Screm. Who wants to be licked? Let's not. <laughs> no licking. Five spiders? Wow. Amazing. I love it. So happy for you and your spiders. But thank you so much for that raid. There were a few more after I left. Don't be jelly. I mean, I'm not. My farm doesn't produce spiders and that's what I wanted. So... <laughs> But hello, welcome in Tadpole Readers. For those that don't know me, my name is Small Cats, and we're currently playing on my super flat hardcore world. Uh, we're gonna do some tree chopping, trading, general resource gathering, and maintenance. So super exciting stream here today. Fish cream jelly, honestly, that is the most cursed thing I've ever heard of Sally. Okay, you know there's like an actual like food like that? It's like meat in gelatin. It's like straight out of 1970 and it's real cursed. 
feel particularly heckin' cursed. You feel to fish. No, 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 no. It's like a jello mold. Please, no. It's like, um... It's like a jello mold dish with, like, vegetables and fish in it. I don't know. I didn't just I didn't make it. Like, I didn't do this, you know? This wasn't my choice, but, like, it's a thing that does exist. Doesn't have an ending. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't do this. So you guys can't blame me, but it, it is a thing. Like, cold turkey jelly? Yeah. Kinda like that. Yeah, believe me. It's not good, but it, it is real. You know, it would- this food would cook more if I put it in the thing to cook. Tadpole might have made it. You never know. The gelatin is made of worse things than the fish, most likely? Yeah, I mean, gelatin is made of very cursed foods, so. Herbs, herbs. But Tadpole, if you need to go do the after screen thing, please go take care of yourself, get some food, you know, hydrate. Thank you again to the raid. Welcome in, everybody. We're we're chilling today. Tadpole raid who wants fish cream jelly. So cursed, black clad, so cursed. I truly cannot fathom why. Oh my goodness, a master Shifu coming in with a raid! Two raids and we've been live for seven minutes. Woo! Hi, Master Shifu. Welcome in. Did I spell that right? Did I mess this up? Oh, there's another underscore. Ah, I screwed up. Dismiss. Okay, you guys, just so you know, you can dismiss that message. I'm so sorry, Master Chief. Welcome in. Thank you for that raid. Liz Gale, hello. Welcome in. It's two and then one. Ah, uh, okay. I'm a mess. Guys, just please forgive. Thank you so much for the raid. I see you're playing some Elder Scrolls. How did Elder Scrolls go? Did you raid Bleak Falls Barrow? Did you get the Dragon Claw? Did you then steal it back from that uppity merchant immediately after? <laughs> Dolce de fish? Sally. Illegal. Illegal. Cursed nonsense, Sally. Master Shifu, if you have to raid and run, I totally understand. You know, take care of yourself, but thank you so much. For those coming in with that Master Shifu raid, my name is Small Cats. We're playing on our super flat hardcore world. Um, trading, chopping trees, kind of just doing resource gathering so that we can mil build more custom terrain, because custom terrain is a lot of work. My dad has a stuffed cat in his bathroom that looks exactly like Blep. I'll have to get a pic. Absolutely, please send this to me. Add command, raid jelly, tadpole raid. Who wants? No. <laughs> I did that at least out. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk, guys. I'm such a mess. I did that last time. Today we kind of explored a bit, did some side quests to level up, and found some new locations with the mods they released as features. Ooh, nice. That's exciting. I haven't played Elder Scrolls in quite some time. Too late, small. It has been done. Please don't. <laughs> Please, no. No, no, no. So cursed. So cursed. Lots of fun waiting for six to come out. Oh my goodness. Will it ever get released? I don't know. Small, I forgive you today, and Team Small and Tadpole almost. Made me almost answer a question. I don't- what do you mean, Thug? Like, what happened to- what about question answering? I have, I have questions now relating to your question. Hey, the river cat coming in with that tadpole raid. Hello, Kay, how are you? I'ma eat a donut. I'm here, but I won't be able to type, so small bit lurkies. Ooh, enjoy your donut lurking, Risey. I'm jealous. Liz Gale, enjoy your lurk. Thank you for being here. They will tease it for five more years, props? Almost certainly. What's that, um, there's like another video game that like everyone's like been like, oh, please just give us this game and it's been being teased for like 70 years. I don't remember what it is. Scrum no. Yeah. Scrum no. Hi Marcus, how are you? C 
see tadpole this is how this i don't know if tadpole's still here actually but this is how this farm is supposed to work no spiders oh hi so i was in lurk mode now i'm here yay it do be like that sometimes you do need to lurk for a bit all right tadpole thank you so much again i appreciate you you are awesome pitfall 3k yeah. sounds like hard animals ow ow rude this guy is rude I do not eat spiders. Vanavader, hello, welcome in. Thank you for that first time chat with the blep. Enjoy the blep. We love blep here. The game everyone is like, when it will it exist? Elder Scrolls 6, it has been teased for 513 years. Wait, help me choose blueberry, bismarck, or bavarian cream. Ooh, bavarian cream. Hug, enjoy your food. Blep is life, blep is life. Ooh, black plaid says blueberry. Guys, this is a hard choice. Both sound excellent. Power three. What does mine have? Power three. It has a break. Mine has a breaking. Ooh, guys, my pile of junk is getting full. I should deal with this. Eh, I'm not gonna. Hello there. How you doing today? Flip is squished. Flip can be squashed. Hey, you thought you changed your weapon? Maybe. Hide vote. Guess I gotta eat both. You know, that's not a bad thing. That seems like a win in my book. GK weapon Screm. Screm is a good weapon. Nope, that's not what I want. You're good. I'm glad to hear it. There is. You are not meant to be up here, sir. It, sir. Sir. Get down. Sir. Guys, villagers are truly the bane of my existence. You're building a Lego X Wing? That's cool. Which one of you sells glass? Thank. Time for me to go iron a shirt for work tomorrow. <laughs> Fair. Enjoy your lurk, Master Sheeper. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. You're not really scrumming anymore, actually. But why not? Why not when you could be doing a scrum? One sec, I just remembered I forgot a thing. I mean, they are trapped. Maybe they're trying to get out. They're safer there, though. The car, nothing but a thing. Okay, so is the car situation somewhat remedied, Sally, or is it still a mess? Oh, my inventory, my inventory, my inventory. Why is my inventory the way that it is? It's still a mess. Oh, I'm sorry. That really sucks. <laughs> kind of silly we need to make some mud well we need to make packed mud which means we need mud which means i need a iron shovel that won't break easily it is so it is yeah it just sucks okay there's our happy happy iron shovel of no breaky Sally tries to perform some hand gestures and incantations to cast a screm. Sadly, their spell misses. Oh, That's because screm cannot be contained. Guys, don't don't look over there. It's spoilers for next episode of Super Flat Hardcore. Also, look, I got a chicken. What uh what type of weapon have you classified screm as? Is it a cast type weapon or a um pet type weapon? I know it, like, technically doesn't really matter, but... Picks up a floof tail. Should make a spoiler wall? Ah, that's so much effort, Blackclad. I'm lazy. 
Also, um, the world is updated to 1.19.3, so. Hello, everyone. Please enjoy this mud and dispenser ASMR while we make some back mud. Screm is a cast type. You know, I guess that's kind of fair, because, like, you sort of just, like, scrim, and the sound is a wave, which goes out, so cast. I don't know. I guess that's fair. Okay, that's better. That was a little bit loud, even, for me. I was like, that's aggressive. I just need packed mud. Like, that's all, that's all I want, is mud. I need to change up the uh, terraforming for this build. Like a banshee scrim. Exactly. The scrim cat is canonically a banshee. A minion of the Dark Lord pizza shrimp, if you would. Unrelenting Screm. I love that. Instead of uh, Fusro Da, Fusro Screm. Or Screm Roda. I think Screm Roda. This gill is off to bed. Hope stream goes well. Thank you so much. Have good sleeps. Thank you for stopping by. Screm. I think that's a good. I actually, I think I like Screm Roda. Yeah, so if anyone needs um mud, I'm making some mud if anyone wants some, you know, you never know. Scrum roda. Yeah, exactly, Black Clad, exactly. Like that fits perfectly. Of course the floof tail is sharp. Well yeah. It's a floof tail, it's the sharpest of weapons. Everything about it indicates sharpness. Floof, sharp. Tail, absolutely sharp. Anything else doesn't really make any sense. Silverfish Stone tries to swing their blep at their foe, but misses, rolling 15 and a modifier of minus one. Ooh, that's a rough roll. Sally tries to slash their floof tail at their foe, but also misses. Dang, dang. All right, Sally once again grips their floof tail, slashes their foe, dealing one point of damage. Okay, so 35 HP remaining. That's good, that's good. That's progress. Silverfish grips their blep and swings, hitting their foe. If that makes sense, honestly, blep is definitely a more powerful weapon. Um, yeah, that checks out. Blep's pretty powerful. Silverfish, have you considered switching over to squished blep? Because squished blep, while cursed, might do a lot more damage. You win. It still has uh, 32 HP remaining. Oh, Sally. Oh, you cut yourself on your foot tail? That's sad. How did you do that? I just don't understand how something like that happens. You mind in your business? Bam! Bonked with a foot tail. Loose Roda translates to force balance push, so Screm Roda translates to crime balance push. Hmm, I like it. Yeah, sorry Sally, it looks like you're gonna have to do a, a, a break and a heal in order to get back into the fight. Oh, nope, never mind. Silverfish has healed you, so you're good now. Progress. Miss Redtail, hello, welcome in. I love that giraffe emote. Red, how are you doing? Good to see you. We're doing chill stream today. Well, we're playing hardcore, but we're, it's chill. Chill hardcore. We're just vibing and getting materials. As one does. Hopefully I won't break this shovel on accident by not paying attention. 
Sally tries to slash their floosh tail with their foe. Again, misses. Oh, oh, Sally. Come on, Floof. Should I add cast unrelenting scrim? Absolutely. I vote yes. <laughs> GK weapon pointy blip. Yes. Uh, yep, Sally's right. Yes, you should. Just stuff in my face and playing Fallout? Oh, heck yeah. That sounds like a great time. What snacks and or food do you have? Please share. Very important that we know. Silverstone tries to use their pointy blep, but it misses. Oh, Silverfish. Don't worry. I believe in you. You will... You will defeat this guy with the pointy blood. What is the AC of this enemy? Like, what are you guys fighting? That's a lot of mud. Okay, we need to heal this pickaxe. This thing looks terrible. AC of 15. Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay, Silverfish so uses cast, manages to do 13 total force damage with magic missile. Dang, Silverfish. So Kicking butt. Hell yeah. Sally does 7 points with floof tail damage. And then Blackclad uh, expels 4 points of curdled dragon breath smilk, which is still a particularly cursed statement and honestly terrifying. Um, do I have a mending book? That's an unbreaking book. Do I have to buy a mending book? I don't particularly want to. It looks like I have no choice. Dang it. I hate when I have to do things I don't want to. Do I have Emerald's Death by Curdled Smilk? A wraith stands before the adventurers. The black clad wanderer takes one look at the wraith and just spews a flurry of curdled oh god. Curdled smilk. Um, wow, so cursed. Um, and it kills them. Okay. That is still so cursed. Sorry. Is it fish milk? Sally. Sally, listen to me. Sally, look at me. No. Absolutely not. Forbidden. Yes. Go, Gollum, go. I need your, your iron. of curdled smilk right silverfish like so terrifying so horrifying on every conceivable level just, just like overall gen generally upsetting but worth it is it i'm not sure guys it's pretty cursed when chocolate gets old why does it turn I don't think that's how that works And is it still safe? I don't, I don't feel qualified to answer that question. You know how, I feel like, whose chat were we in the other day that we were talking about split, eating questionable foods? Whose chat was that? No, not We were definitely talking about eating questionable foods and I just like, I just want to make it really clear that you probably should not eat questionable food. So, you're still gonna eat it? Well, it's it's not my fault if it goes horribly wrong. I just want to make that really, really clear. It, I cannot be blamed. I have absolutely no responsibility for this. It lumps together like milk. Ugh. Ah. So cursed, guys. So cursed. Why? I decay, but I realized recently I ate a lot of things that others would throw away. So, yeah, I realized this in whoever's chat this was the other day as well. 
Oh, it was VP's chat talking about how like anything even like remotely questionable and you throw it out. Like, I don't, I can't do that. Like, like I'm not going to eat things that are like visibly spoiled, obviously, but like, oh, the do the best buy dates like a couple days out. If it's not actively bad, then like, yeah, I'm going to eat it. Like, it's probably fine. You know how when you try to put powdered cream or an iced coffee, that's how it does. Blah. No, not curdled fish milk. The fish milk soup is a weapon. That's awful. Yeah, I mean, like, we have a habit in our house. Like, if we have vegetables that are, like, getting really close to, like, oh, they're going to get weird in a couple of days, like, we'll put them in the freezer and then my partner will use them along with, like, whatever else to make, like, chicken stock um, or vegetable stock. Like, I don't know. We're, we just, like, try to really avoid food waste or, like, we get some fruit and it, the bananas all get ripe too fast or something like they get put in the freezer and we use them for smoothies later like i don't know we just like but my partner and i both lived abroad and like him more than me but like experienced food insecurity firsthand like he lived in a place that was like literally desert for like 10 months out of the year and like you couldn't get vegetables like we, i don't know we both just like don't throw things out as much as i think other people might you have an invisible sink barrier. Oh, see. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll cut the icky spots off fruit and veg, and apparently that's not like common practice. Yeah, it's it's not. Like most people would just throw it out. But like we definitely just will like cut the weird parts out and use it. But I mean like if like something like smells bad, yeah, that's that's not gonna be eaten. But like it just has a weird spot. It's fine. It can stay. S Sally, we're gonna fight. <laughs> no more first food commentary. We have to end it. If anything crosses the sink, food dishes otherwise I can't eat it or use the dish until it's clean. Interesting. That's different. You can eat fruit that was expired yesterday, but not like when it's like days later, then I throw it away. See, like, it's still, it's so dependent on whether or not it's actually spoiled, right? Like, I also grew up like super poor though, so you can't just waste fruit and veg. Yeah, it, it, it is definitely like, I mean, some people just have like issues with food texture and stuff like that. So I like, I get it, but like, I don't know. I also, like, I didn't grow up poor, but, like, there was a period of time when my family struggled, so, like, I feel like I just can't throw crap out, like, like, for perfectly good food. That upsets me. I genuinely, one day, though, because, like, I knew we'd get in trouble, like, our local grocery store had a big power outage, and so they had to throw out everything in their freezer. And, like, they all, they threw it out, like, right away, and the weather, like, wasn't that hot or anything. And my partner was like, we should go dumpster diving. And I was like, we will get arrested. Like, we will get in trouble. And he was like... But like, there's probably a lot of good shit in there. And I was like, we will get arrested. Like as much as I would want to like steal the stuff in there and just put it in the freezer, that's probably fine. Like that we would get arrested, which is terrible, but we would get arrested. Like, so if you drink water and put the glass in the sink, I can't use it again until it's clean. I mean, I kind of get that daddy bones because like the sink is kind of a grimy place, but like if, but do you mean that, like, if you waft a glass of water over the sink, like, that now counts as contaminated? Or, like, if it sits in the sink? It's, like, very different things, I feel like. You don't eat meat that expires because it feels like the type of food you don't eat when it's expired. Well, like, expired and the best buy date are different, are different things. So if a fresh apple rolls into the sink, you can't eat it. Just wash it off, though. I won't eat old grapes though. Grapes gotta be firm or frozen. Honestly, I'm with you, Risey, on squishy grapes. It's an upsetting texture. USA throws away more food than we eat. It's borderline inhumane. It really is though. Has to be in the sink. Okay. Also, we buy fruit and vegetables, but sometimes forget that it was there and throw it away. So yeah, that's also a big thing. And I'm here to talk about ADHD fridge. So my partner and I are both of the brains be crazy 
we forget a lot of things and if it's like well not crazy but like adhd brains if things aren't in our like immediate view they don't exist a lot of the time so what we do is we have recombobulated the refrigerator for adhd fridge which means instead of putting crap in the crisper drawer to die we put things like fruits and veggies on the door now where like they're more visible and so i remember to eat the fresh fruits and vegetables easier like because i, I open the fridge and i'm like oh yeah the fruit can't throw out the fruit like you know what i mean i shrank i'll reuse a water cup for a couple days but yeah once it hits the sink it's tainted yeah you know i honestly can kind of understand the like in the sink tainted thing because like yeah the sink can kind of get weird what do you keep in the fridge sally oh sally what do you keep in the fridge you cannot eat bruised grapes says sally has to be the sink typo so good yeah typo so typo wow Wash it off, but for some reason it crossed that invisible sink barrier, so you can't eat it. Interesting. That is so interesting, Daddy Bones. Well, I don't want to know what Sally's keeping in the refrigerator. Add quote, I keep most versions cut side the fridge. <laughs> Oh, that's an unfortunate tie-out. It is an unfortunate tie-out. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, Sally. <laughs> hey, Shrimp Sart, how are you doing? That is very unfortunate, but also really funny. Yeah, sorry, Sally. That's getting immortalized in, in hilarious uh, typo land. And we are planting more wheat. Good you. I'm doing all right. Today was long, but we chillin'. Sacrifice that quote. <laughs> right? To be fair, you shouldn't keep them in the fridge, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. Depends on your profession. Oh dear. Uh, this conversation has been entertaining. But like, guys, I can't. Honestly, like, if you're like us and ADHD is a thing going on in your brain, like, ADHD fridge, such a game changer. You gotta go to school tomorrow, nice. Sally's refrigerator virgins. <laughs> Poor Sally. immortalized with that typo for forever. <laughs> Unre <laughs> unrefrigerated. Okay, specifically the unrefrigerated ones. Okay. I don't know. I feel like, though, in our house, we're really good about food waste because, like, for example, like, we'll buy, instead of buying just, like, chicken thighs or something, like, we'll buy a whole chicken and my partner will just break it down and then all of the bones and weird bits get chucked into a pot to become chicken stock at a later date. Pizza shrimp is so cute. Keeps popping up on the tubes and makes me smile every time. Yay, pizza shrimp. We do love pizza shrimp. Grapes taste better refrigerated? Honestly, I don't feel like I can refute that claim. Like, a cold, crisp grape is, like, pretty good. Like, you won't eat the chicken or thighs? Hmm, we need more pizza shrimp? Listen, pizza shrimp is forever. Pizza shrimp is life. I think this should hydrate. Y'all eating frozen grapes, though? Yes, they're delicious. I'm really good at food waste because I've been broke. So if it's edible, it gets eat. Yeah. 
Never had a pizza shrimp nor grapes. Pug, do you not know about pizza shrimp? Oh, I currently have a tadpole tab, tab open that's actually me. Um, and a Dutchie tab. Dutchie is not streaming. Close that. Okay, we really quick have to share the pizza shrimp video. It's really important. Is my tab muted? Yeah. Dismiss. Pause YouTube. Click the video. Go back to the this. No, should I be punished? Well, no. No, you should not be punished. The thigh is the best chicken cut. Prove me wrong. Sally is right. Face the pizza shrimp. Okay, so the video I just linked is the, the video I made for YouTube of building pizza shrimp. All hail the pizza shrimp. For the glory of the pizza shrimp cult. If you don't know who pizza shrimp is, you gotta watch it. Well, don't leave stream, but you gotta go, you gotta open it in another tab and bask in the glory of the pizza shrimp. Really important. Pizza shrimp is forever. They're just like normal grapes, but colder and more difficult to chew. No, no, no. A frozen grape is like a lovely, like, non-dairy ice cream, but in grape form. This should hydrate, and I don't know why it's not. We'll just, we'll just make this water. Uh, let's see. Bed. I first saw small, I thought you meant pizza shrimp as a dish. No, no, no. The pizza shrimp is an entity. Pizza shrimp forever. Well, and I feel like the reason pizza shrimp keeps coming up is because I created another video like highlighting all the builds from like this year on the server. Pizza shrimp is God. <laughs> yeah. And um, like the auto, th I didn't bother to like make an actual thumbnail for the video because I was feeling real lazy. Um, so like the thumbnail that YouTube generated it was just pizza shrimp and I was like, that's fine. Or it was the YouTube short, I think, actually. It was the one that had the pizza shrimp auto-generated thumbnail. And I was like, this is totally fine. Pizza shrimp forever. The pizza shrimp build looks incredible, though. Thank you. I love pizza shrimp. He's a good boy. It was very funny, because when we were building him, you don't know what it is. It's, it's just... He's a little chef and he's wearing a shrimp. He's a shrimp. He's wearing a chef's hat and he's making a pizza because he's a good little pizza shrimp. Can't. Because he's a good little boy. He's a good little shrimpy dude. That's pizza shrimp. I remember the build. Much murder that day. <laughs> Fair. There probably was a murder. Pizza shrimp and milk for the win? Oh dear. I don't know if I can get behind this milk thing. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm just continuously shocked that like smilk is the thing that's like taken off. Just out of nowhere. Great build by the way. Thank you. murder that day i don't even remember did we murder tadpole was it tadpole it was probably tadpole had to oh people sniping me from rooftop i think so might have been darn slimes keep spawning up there i just can't get them to stop i've given up okay you murdered someone it was probably tadpole back to the drawing board okay go back over here. Thank you for redeeming back to the drawing board. We'll actually go do what we were supposed to be doing. 
which is chopping trees. At least you're not goofing. Yeah. Goofing TM. Well, actually, let's craft our packed mud first. Congrats, Sally. You seduced the demon. Now what are you gonna do? Demon, just your type. Oh dear. Okay, let's chop some trees. We need wood. Lots of it. The dragon got a little naggy. Well. Wow. Don't know how to help you there. Was she just like asking you to do basic house chores and that was a problem or like what happened? Okay, so there's our packed mud. Dump this in there. Might as well compost these. Put away our iron shovel of shoveling. Why do I have so much junk? Why have I not organized it? Small, why are you like this? Treasure this and pillage that. <laughs> okay, let's chop the uh, oak, but here's what we're gonna do to make this better. We're going to get a bunch of azalea. We're gonna do it that way to get root of dirt from moss, cuz. Woohoo. Let's do it. Also, I need a chest. Always pillaging this. Burning villages that. I'm sleeping. Was there also like rescuing a lot of princesses from towers or like imprisoning princesses in towers? Like, you know, which, which was. I can't remember. Do you shear rooted dirt to uh, de root it or is it halving it? Or does it matter? Or like a prison guard? Wow. That sounds like an unhealthy relationship. I just love that off in the distance really quickly. I just saw slime just yeet itself off of something. Like, slime, are you okay? Slime was in fact not okay. You don't hoe it like coarser? Honestly, I don't know. I thought you sheared it if you wanted the roots. But like, I'm not 100% sure. So I do know we need oak wood. And I need more dirt. Because we always need more building blocks in a super flat world. So we might as well turn our infinite moss. No, you can't shear it. Oh, so you do hoe it? Huh. Really not what I thought you did. Almost like I have no darn clue. She bring home princesses and I'm like, come on, I just, I've got to fight again for you, can't we just chill? <laughs> Sounds very high maintenance. I think it has to be on Maybe. Yeah, that'll figure it out. No, like, um, no, really, my, I guess my question is, how do I, oh, now I have too much jungle wood. Um, like, if I want to take the rooted dirt, you do hoe it, okay. Yeah, like I want to take the rooted dirt 
and remove the roots from it to make normal dirt. Like I'm, I'm over here trying to make a dirt farm, like casually. You know what I mean? We need a whole bunch of mouse. Moss, 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 Oh, hoe it, then stamp on it. I. No, not the hanging roots. I'm sorry. I should have been clearer. I want to specifically not get the roots. I want the dirt. The roots are kind of useless to me. Um, I need more like building blocks, as you can see. You can also do it with coarse dirt if you have a pig. Okay, I'll bite. What does the pig have to do with it? If this is another genuinely hilarious typo for me today, Sally, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Piglin, ah. get the roots when you have rooted dirt gotcha oh yeah don't you like bone meal the side and sh or the bottom half and shear it something it's like a bizarre method of getting the item mix the gravel dirt with the gravel and double your dirt honestly not a terrible dang it again this iron farm is really on my nerves um i'll fix that later yeah i might do that Moss, 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 moss. Just gotta hoe the course dirt. Good thing I have a lot of azaleas. Let's sleep really fast. Yeah, I might do that, Sally, but gravel is like. I can only get gravel through piglin bartering in the nether, and I am trying to avoid the nether at all possible, so if I can get renewable dirt without having to do that, that's kind of a better bet. At least a safer bet, because I can hang out here in the overworld and do- and get renewable dirt, and like not risk an instantaneous death in lava. I'm gonna need more of these. Manual labor farms. Yeah, well, I can't do, um, so I looked into if I could do this process here, um, automatically, and you can. Raiseworks has a really good farm that stone generator turns to moss, grows azalea trees, you know, blows it up with TNT duping, etc, etc. Except for, like, I can't dupe TNT. There's no way to get coral fans in this version of the game. So, like, I literally can't do it. Ah, uh, but the redstone. It, it's actually not the redstone. I have redstone. As you can see, I've made redstone contraptions. It's the, uh, it's the coral. You can't do PNT. And I'm pretty sure that, like, if I did want to, you can do TNT without coral. I have no idea how. Welcome to Bedrock. Well, more like welcome to weirdly limited Java that I did to myself. And honestly, like, I'm- maybe Silverfish is right and I can dupe TNT, but I don't know how. And most of the farms I see on YouTube that I've checked are TNT duping farms. Okay, let's do this and not suffocate in a tree. Shit. There's a lot of designs. I'm gonna have to keep looking into it then because I really don't know. I'm just gonna do this from like a safe distance over here. Nope, not safe. We're 
We're gonna get so many oak logs though. That'd be great. Ooh, scrab. That was a little too spoopy for my liking. Wandering traders, how do you dupe what you don't have? Yeah, so I can craft TNT. Um, start this is right. Wandering traders sell sand. I do have like two stacks of sand, so I'm going to be able to craft TNT. It's it's more the like setting up the duper that I I think is dubious. Scram, scram, scram. Honestly, though, like wandering traders are actually the best in this game mode. It's so weird. All of these like other things I have, like the only reason this happened is because a wandering trader sold me moss. Um, and then I have other trees than oak because wandering trader. I have sand because wandering trader. I've got a bucket of puffer fish somewhere just for like in case I want one. Wandering trader. You can get observers, right? Yes. Because I can go to the nether. The nether is the same in this game mode as it is in normal Minecraft. It seems the flat world makes wandering traders valid. It truly does. If I can load a TNT duper after 28 hours of being awake, then you got it, small. I that Black clad. You, you, you underestimate my incompetence. In Skyblock, yeah. But in Skyblock, you can get coral fans, I think. Wandering traders are more useful in flat worlds than Skyblock. In the normal gameplay, he's kind of useful in the early game, but not really later on. Yeah, later on, not so much. The Wandering Trader to me seems like a good mechanic for like early players, like people who haven't played a lot, who don't know these other things are like existing, right? Like he sells the little drip leaves and uh, different types of, oh geez, trees. What do I want for dinner? I don't know, Moss, birds. Um, like the Wandering Trader sells things that you might not know exist in the game. Um, if you're new. Do sometimes buy coral blocks from him occasionally yeah because it's a pain to go get them bro yeah like i don't want to go get coral and the only way I can get coral in this in this style world is the wandering trader. So be useful. You want TNT duping for your dirt farm? Yes. Basically, stone generator generates stone. We turn that stone into moss. We grow um, azaleas on that moss. That moss becomes dirt. Then you hoe the dirt. It becomes the rooted dirt, it becomes normal dirt. Dirt farm. I got a lot of terraforming to do. Casually swimming in trees. Look at all this rooted dirt, see? Woo! Painty blasting farms are only necessary when you really when you already have the farm you can't do manual. Uh, it's about speed. Will have to be semi-auto, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to work. It, it's about, like, speed, honestly. Because, like, I already, as a non-full-time content creator, I don't have a ton of time to do what I'm doing right now. Like, I'm using all of my- Oh, if you're planting it- Oh, are you just now understanding the porn of this farm? <laughs> um, the rooted dirt is nice, why would you want to convert it? I mean, maybe I could use it, but like, it would be nice to have base dirt, just just standard dirt for like the purposes of dirt, but 
mean, I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. Because dirt, yeah. Well, and you can use dirt, like, to make horse dirt. Um, it can become grass really easily, so, like, you do have a few more options. No, something else? Okay. Moss, 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 moss. Wait, what about this tasty burbs, fish cream soup? The possibilities are endless. Cursed black lad. It's so cursed, guys. Why are we doing cursed nonsense when we could not be doing cursed nonsense? Guys, look how many oak blocks we're gonna get. Isn't this beautiful? Like, beautiful. To be automatic, it'd have to be like single block focused. Yeah, and Raidsworks has one. It's really cool. Like, do you ever think you need to farm dirt in Minecraft? No, I didn't. And here I am. Farming dirt in Minecraft. All the oak. All. Where's oak? No. Curseware. Wood farms, they're one of those things where you can't really farm fully automatically. You need TNT. Yeah, well, and there's, um, I know Tango Tech has a version of a wood farm where you, it's like an offhand type wood farm, but you end up with stripped logs. And if you don't want stripped logs, that's not really ideal. And some of the old Minecraft style wood farms, um, kind of pushed everything together and there were pistons and stuff. But again, those, you still ended up needing to dupe TNT. So like, if you want stuff in mass, TNT duping is like kind of the way to go, which stinks because like, again, if you're playing a specialized game style, you may not be able to dupe TNT. If you sold cat stuffies in a mug, I'd buy it. Honestly, if we ever get to a point where I think there'd be enough interest, I'd love to sell Cupcat merch. Um, but like, dang, I feel like we'd need more people who would want to buy Especially like a, like just a, a mug with Cupcat on it, I feel like we could do pretty easy. Or like Cupcat stickers. Um, but I don't know if we could do a, a stuffed animal sort of style without a lot more interest. Because like, I know usually you have to have like a certain number of committed persons to do like out a run of that. How fast can one block be changed to dirt if you hit the hoeing? Basically instantly. It is maddening. Azalea needs its own wood type, damn it. Right? Can we please get... Oh, I just want my own wood type from Azalea, please. Can it be green? I would love for it to be green. That would be beautiful. Oh, yeah. Super flat's weird, guys. You know what? Speaking of paper, I still actually don't have a renewable source of paper because I have not gotten a sugar cane yet from the Wandering Trader. Of all things, I have not gotten that. He has sold me so many things, and I just want sugar cane. I also haven't gotten spruce, which has been very unfortunate. I want spruce. Azalea plant, I wish we had different wood types, not a small because oak was... Yeah, I mean, it is convenient, as we can see, for farming oak wood. But, like, it would be really nice to have something different. A nice dark green wood would be wonderful, even if it's not realistic. Yeah. Or, like, I've seen mods that change Azalea to, like, a beautiful pink color. Like, a, a very vibrant pink. And I like that. Like, uh, whatever it is in Vault Hunters, that looks really good. And no spruce. Yeah, currently no spruce. It's sad. Until the uh, Wandering Trader shows up and gives me the spruces, I got no spruce. I should eat some before I die. That's rough, no cane. Yeah, I'm siege. I want sugar cane. I have all this gunpowder that I'm going to turn into rockets as soon as I get the darn sugar cane. But I have to get the sugar cane first. I also want ebony and a few other types of wood, you know, because color. Yes, please. 
blocks. Just give me more blocks in this game. I know the inventory issue is like a whole thing. And inventory is already a problem and blah blah blah. But like, fine, I'll deal with it. Like, <laughs> I will accept the inventory issue if it means I get more blocks. Like, it's fine. I'll deal with it. Like, I'll survive it, you know? I will happily bear this burden for the Minecraft community. I guess he doesn't feel like selling spruce sapling and sugar canes right now. I guess not. And berries. Just more types of everything. I just want more. Just give me more. I feel like Ariel in The Little Mermaid. Like, I want more. Like, all of it, please. Give. Like, there's so many different types of beautiful, like, natural woods, like mahogany and cherry, like ebony wood, like Black Clad said. Um, there's a type of tree called a, was it a dragon's blood tree? A dragon blood tree? That has, like, a really vibrant red wood. Like, bright red. Super cool looking. Like, there's all these cool, it'd be cool to have grapes and grapevines. Yeah, yeah. There's a, I think the rustic mod does grapes really well. Purple heart trees, yes. Azalea is a bush in real life? Yes, Azalea looks nothing like a tree in real life. You know about woods, says Daddy Bones. Oh, really, Daddy Bones? Do you know about woods? You... And dragon's blood smells divine. There you go. I'm sorry, Daddy Bones, I had to. When you said that, I was like, oh, perfect. That's the perfect time to make a, a joke. Snows is wood. And he said it, not me. Brazil wood is pretty. I think it's a vine. Yeah. There's literally so many cool trees. I think really what this conversation boils down to is we want more color choices. So like terracotta colors, right? while pretty, are really not, like, true versions of their colors because they're mixed with, like, the base terracotta color. Um, so, like, colors like teal and cerulean and stuff like that, like, you really can't get true matches in a lot of places. And, like, greens were very limited in the greens to, like, very vibrant. Like, there's not a lot of pastels. Like, can we have more pastels, please? I understand that, like, most of the time, as a person, I'm like pretty, pretty goth, but like, I'll take more pastels in Minecraft, thank you. There's a tree called Palo Verde and they have green bark. Yeah, there you go. Like, they, like, Mojang could find so many cool ways to introduce new trees by doing it like a tree around the world, you know, where they like just release like different types of cool trees from all over the world over the course of like a few weeks. It's like every week, a tree from a continent, but small cats, pastels. Debbie, you've stolen Fester from us. You've married him, you've broken his spirit. All that I could forgive, but really, pastel. I know exactly what you were referencing, Black Cloud. <laughs> Saw a Twitter post for an idea to add chalk blocks that could paint, contain the pastel colors. <gasps> yes. Yes. Like you could do craft chalk from like, I don't know, calcite or something? That would, calcite and like gravel, that would be cool. Soften it up for you. <laughs> There's an orphan polar bear again. Why are we beating up polar bears? Black lad's like, yeah, you got it. Oh no, just saw what Sally was fighting. Yeah, an orphaned polar bear. The most innocent of the creatures. This polar bear has nothing to do with the instant with Ginger on Go Your Gnome Way. It was 100% not related to that. Like, it's just a happy, like a, a, no, not a happy, but a sad little orphan polar bear who needs our friendship and instead we're killing him. Do you feel good about yourself, chat? About what you've done? Do you feel good about what you've done? rescue 
A baby polar bear? Would it kill a pug? I don't think so. Remember, orphan polar bears grow up to be the most dangerous. Oh my god, that's terrible, Sally. You can't spread such harmful things about polar bears. Yeah, there should definitely be a rescue option for things that we think we shouldn't fight. You gotta teach this D&D &D party, Blackclad, to, like, know when they're the bad guys. Most dangerous land animal to humans? No, I'm pretty sure that's mosquitoes. And it's a bug. There's always- no, Blackclad. Cursed. Cursed. But it's in or Yeah, exactly. He's innocent. Leave him alone. Stop killing him. He's already dead. He's innocent. Sag. Spare. Yeah, exactly. Exclamation point spare. Manchineal trees are an interesting tree. It's poisonous, so I wonder how that'll work in Minecraft. It would be very interesting if, like, you got the poison effect while chopping down the wood. That would be infuriating for the vast majority of the player base and therefore hilarious. Commands don't work. Yeah, I don't think that command actually exists. Black Cloud would have to make it. It will literally eat you. Oh, Sally, it wants to be my friend. I'm sure of it. Like, I'm so sure of it. Fun fact, got stung by bees twice and didn't die. That's good. You know, bees are also friends. It really is sad. Vertebrae. Yeah, let's not, let's not say untrue things about polar bears. They're not the most dangerous to us. It's mosquitoes. It's not even technically the mosquitoes. It's the malaria parasite within the mosquitoes. So, be real. Just saying. You're more likely to get trampled by a cow than a polar bear. Wait, why is the polar bear attacking me? That doesn't make any sense. I feel like, Black Cloud, you did this. You specifically are trying to push a specific polar bear-based agenda. So you've, you've paid this poor polar bear to murder me. Mosquito doesn't want pug IRL. Lucky. I have a friend who's like one of those people that mosquitoes are like, you're delicious, and just like attack, and I feel bad for him. I'm like, I don't I don't know how to help you, but like that's a crappy problem to have. Why would I do that? I'm not even attacking. I don't know. Probably because you're the only person who can make the, the Grey Knight do weird things. That's why. They see me chopping, they hate it. Do you think we have enough oak logs, guys? I think we got enough. We have a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, there's actually so many. So many. Pug, what is that emote? I crawl. That's interesting. That's an emote. I defended that killer. I, mean, I think he was framed. Personally, I think this polar bear has been framed for a murder. Those are both good. It's a good emote. Like, I genuinely think the polar bear is in this, I don't know. Guys, I have to actually go to the office tomorrow, and I really don't want to. 
because like I worked from home today and I had Monday off. So this is gonna be like my first time back in the office in like a week and a half. I really don't wanna go. It just maimed you. Uh, it's fine. Everyone needs a little maiming now and again. I'll be fine. Tis by the flesh food. So fish is like Sag. Wow. Sally, you, I can't believe you killed him. He was innocent. That polar bear was framed and you cannot convince me otherwise. Uh, if only I could bug. That would be easier. I just truly and genuinely uh, don't want to go to the office anymore. I'm actually like, so I'm actually really seriously considering quitting my job. Um, Cause like I like what I do and it's cool, but I'm just really tired of office life. And I feel like I kind of need to change. I've been with this company for a while, like pre-pandemic. I don't know. I've been I've been him hawing about the chat. I don't know what to do yet. Stockholm cats. No. no, simply a cat who sees the truth, Sally. Since 2019. I feel like that's plenty long enough to work in a at a company. I've only been in my new position less than a year. But I don't know. I've just like not feeling it. No. Thank you for the word more silverfish. No no no. Like, I've definitely technically worked there long enough that I could leave and it wouldn't look bad on my resume. It's more of just like, do I want to go through the hassle of finding a new job and hopefully a boss that doesn't suck? Because it is truly such a hassle. An office seems like a dull setting being in a cubicle. Yeah, and like, I do travel a lot for work. But like it's it's just like not it's like one of those things where I like can't plan when I'm gonna be traveling and therefore frustrating. Or it's more like a farting sound. It's a sound. Let me make it. There you go. It's a whole lot of free. No fart sound alerts here, unfortunately, and there never will be. No fart sounds. Speaking of working, man, I just wonder what I'll be doing this year after you might graduate. No, that's the fun of graduating, Pug. You get to find out. Cats don't fart, they floof. Yeah, true. And there will be no fart sounds here, I'm sorry. It's just not gonna, it's not gonna be a thing that we do. I don't know. It does not appeal. one more time and then I feel like that's plenty of oak wood to last like some millennia. Adoptive cat has a killer floof. Not even choking. Dang. That's not fun. 
speaking of cats with killer floofs, and by floofs we mean farts, the other day we were laying in bed and we, Wednesday's like tearing around the house, right? Like just doing like that psycho cat thing that cats do when they're like, ooh, I got the zoomies and I'm full of crime and I don't know what else to do but run around the house because it's one in the morning. And we just hear this like little like, and we're like, what the heck? At, like, and this happens like right as she like sprints out of our bedroom. And we're like, what in the hell? And we realize it was Wednesday. Just making the teeny tiniest little fart. And it was, it was hilarious. It was genuinely like very cute, but also like, oh my goodness. Like, are you kidding me right now? It was quite funny. It'll be confusing to have zero work experience. I mean, everybody starts there. You know, like everybody starts off with no work experience until you get a job and you get some experience. And you know, that's why entry level positions exist to go in and like learn some stuff and like get your feet wet, so to say. Can we have a fart sound of a fart sound of the sound you just made? That little like though. Very good advice from Sally, because honestly, every company does things differently. Like, which is frustrating, but also, you know, it just sort of is the way it is. Hey, Hyper, welcome in. How you doing? Um, you know, some companies want to do things one way, some want to do it another way, and it's just like that. Bosses love genuine questions, but not the ones you know the answer to. Yeah. Bosses are weird. Hey, I'm finally back. Hey, BCG, welcome back. We be chopping tree. We do be chop and chatting. Welcome back, followed by Cursed Blep. I just hope it doesn't give you a guy's a weird intention, to be honest, because that's... Eh. Weird blep. Weird blep is weird blep. We like weird blep. How come you're making them so close together? Uh, because I don't care about getting the leaves, because... Um... Okay, so basically, like, I just want oak wood and the rooted dirt that this produces. So, like, they're growing on moss to produce rooted dirt, and I want oak. I don't really care about getting, um... We only intend scrims, yes. I don't really care about getting like a bunch of the leaves because I can get more of these azalea bushes from my moss farm in like, I have like stacks and stacks of them. So I'm just growing them super close together because they're already really cheap to grow with bone meal and that way it creates like a solid wall of oak that I can just chop down in one go. Pancake blep. The blep cake if you would. So it's just more efficient this way. I was really hoping while we were hanging out here a wandering trader would show up, but I haven't seen one in a bit. I'm starting to wonder if I like pissed him off. Oh, I did it again. I almost killed myself with a tree. Oh, it says cat butt, but pointing at the cat butt. Well, if it's not more efficient that way, it's more convenient. Yes, exactly. I mean, honestly, it's both because doing it this way, they're faster to chop because I'm not like hot having to hop between trees. And Azalea's trees do this weird thing where like their leaves grow at like whack angles. And the wood will be like staggered within the tree trunk. And so when you do it like this, there's fewer of those like weird gaps. There it is if you missed it. Cat butt, but like cat butt TK. Cat butt, cat butt, cat butt, cat butt. We 
do be loving Catbud here. Catbud. Just had a brilliant idea, but unfortunately, you cannot further cursify this milk emote. Okay. Subfish. You have to tell us your cursed idea, but we may not do anything with it. You know what I mean? Kappa, kappa, kappa. It's like moss, 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 but it's kappa, kappa, kappa. I'm got soup. Oh, heck yeah, moss. Love some soup. You can with fish. No. Fish? No. No, no, no. Listen, the, the fish smilk thing occurred in Tadpole's chat. I don't think I was even listening at that time when it occurred. So this is a cursed emote you need Tadpole to have. Some fish cream soup with smilk? No. No, no, no. I don't. I like burbs, guys. Remember burbs. It's, we're a burb eating chat here. We, we eat burbs. Bro. Burb soup with a side of smilk? Look, I'll take some burb soup. Like a good chicken noodle soup. Your cat would murder you for fish milk? Honestly, I'm not really surprised. That does sound like a cat thing to do. Okay. Tasty smell and burbs. Gosh. What? There's been so much cursed nonsense today. Like, I'm, I'm just bamboozled. Guys, my bams, they boozled, you know, like, okay, one sec. We need to fix this. We're going to do this, but we need to fix this iron farm because this thing worked right now. Okay, so I don't know what's causing this. So any redstone technical peeps in the chat who know the answer to this, this is Raiseworks Iron Farm. And I built it basically exactly the way I was told to other than the kill chamber, but that changes nothing. And I keep getting golems spawning up here on top of the beds. And I don't know why. I thought it said smile and depends. Smilk and be or smilk and beans. That's what it says. Smilk and beans. And the problem is, is that like I'm having to kill the golems, so like it kills my farm rates. Hi Wednesday, you woke up from your nap and now you want to do crime? You want to come up here? Come here, little goblin. I got you. You are very small. It's an outdated farm or something. No, because, like, this one is not that outdated. This is a pretty new video. Oh, no, I'm not mad. <laughs> What's wrong with the redstone? Nothing. There's not even any redstone in here. The problem is golems keep spawning inside this, the spawn chamber. You need to cap it so the golems have no room to spawn. Oh, so, like, do I need to move the ceiling down a couple blocks, Blackclad? Because if that's the case... That would be easier. Okay. We're gonna deal with tree again, but we're gonna fix this really quick. Let's see with this. Hopefully I don't get punched in the face with, by a golem while we do this. Leave the ceiling just add a block above the villagers. Oh. Smart. Does it need to be a solid block? Spawns keep happening in the spawn chamber. Sorry, in the villager chamber. Glass prevents them from spawning their period since it's a non-spawnable block. Okay. And find some glass. See, like, they spawn on the ground most of the time, but just, like, every once in a while, they get stuck inside with the villagers, and it's, like, really making me angry. Because it's just, like, super inconvenient. I'm tired of having to come over here and keep shooting. Or make everything too high. I'm lazy. I don't want to. So like that. Golems can spawn on glass and leaves, but that's that's uh only two blocks tall. So okay. So that should fix our problem. I hate that they made that. I hate that they made that change that golems can spawn on glass. That's a bad change. Glass is a non-spawnable block. 
Like, did they go through with that change? Spawnable blocks ruin farms and updates every single time. Like, can we stop having that be a thing? Like, glass has always been non-spawnable specifically, and I would like it to continue to be. If it happens again, change the glass to a solid block. Okay, we'll try. I'm hoping this fixes it, so thank you, chat. But if it doesn't, we're simply just going to go on a golem killing crusade. As retribution. Also, hi, Daddy Bones. How are you? Yeah, I mean... That's the thing, is our uh, iron farm on Friends and Nonsense is an older design, and I bet money that it- because we updated the server this week, I bet money it's busted as heck now, because I haven't been to look at it. So I'm betting it's busted. Just do a bottom half slab. Nah, much work. It's too simple. See, like, so far it's fine, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. And honestly though, like, if a golem spawns, it might suffocate in that ceiling, so... Are path blocks still non-spawnable? Yes, thankfully. That's how I've been keeping the uh, slimes at bay. Because there be heckin' slimes. Nowhere within eight blocks of a bed should have more than two blocks high except the spawn area. Huh. Well, that's the problem. Why are iron farms such a pain? I never made iron farms before, but I remember some people were upset when they nerfed the golem spawning. Yeah, iron farms are like one of those farms that get messed with every single update. And, eh, it's a pain. I think the problem is that iron farms, like on Java, are ridiculously overpowered. And on Bedrock, they're like unbelievably complicated for no reason. So that's why they keep getting messed with, I think. But somehow they keep getting easier on Java. So like, riddle me that. At least I think they're easier. Or I have simply been finding better designs for them. It's a dubious block, don't use it. The glass, it's dubious. <laughs> Seems to be working. Relying on non spawnable blocks is not the way. Gotcha. It's simply the too high issue. Huh. Are leaves still considered non spawnable for golems, or are leaves golem spawnable now? Do we know? I can understand they don't want people to have just like free and definitely renewable farms, but like, why not? It's not like anybody's running a competition or anything except speed running. Yeah. I think part of it is that, like, iron golems were never meant to be farmed. Leaves are spawnable for golems? This is dumb. Okay, I'm sorry. I hate this change. Leaves should also be non-spawnable for everything. Like, that's just a bad... That's a bad take. Um, I'm usually not so, like, grumpy about game mechanics, but that's a bad change. I'm sorry. Also, guys, I have a Wednesday on my lap. She's so floofing. Let's go by specs. Within eight blocks of the beds, nothing more than too high. Okay, well, like like I said, if this doesn't fix the problem, then I will change this farm. I promise. Because I've already accidentally killed one villager in there shooting at golems. So. Luckily, your farms didn't get nerfed. Lucky. Happens a lot. I think they all did this in regards to the warden. Yeah, I mean, again, something that was never meant to be farmed, getting farmed immediately. Heck, Bruno was building a warden farm in his stream today. Like... Honestly, though, it's, it's what is so funny to me is that, like, again, wardens were never meant to be farmed. So if you don't want people to farm them, don't give them a drop. That's really the easiest thing. But then they gave them, like, one of the most powerful XP drops in the game, the Catalyst, and then had to change it. It, it just... It's kind of weird. He is still half-hearted amplified. Yeah, 
Bruno's a madman. He built mob switches using wardens like this week, this last week. Bruno is an actual madman. Go by dimensions of the spawn. Okay, right, I will. I'll fix you. I'm also a little scared to fix it on stream because I'm more distracted on stream, guys. And I don't want to lose my world because I get punched in the face by a golem. You know what I mean? It still appears to be working, though. What happened to my bed? The cannon 3 plus. Okay. It's so weird. This game is so weird. And Wednesday's on your lap. Yes, I do has a Wednesday right now. She floofing. Doing heckin' snuggles. Which, she's usually not a big snuggler, so I love this. I love this development. Especially, like, with my partner. She is not a big snuggler when it comes to him, but she'll snuggle with me occasionally when she's in the mood, but, like, it's rare. And if you disturb her too much, she gets, like, okay, I'm done with you. Dang, Sally with 13 force damage on a board drone. I feel that. I accidentally punched a villager and then proceeded to get smoked in the mouth by a golem for 10 minutes straight while it was aggroed to me. Yep. Golems are no joke. All right, Wentz, I'm sorry I, I disturbed you by drinking water. Are zombie piglin farms also nerfed? I don't think so. I think zombie piglin farms are still good. Sally says, I got iron farms. Sally is the resident iron farm expert. <laughs> Sally knows what's up. Guys, look at my beautiful chunky block of tree. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, like, um, I think the second episode of uh, Super Flat Hardcore, I had a golem, like, walk right into my frame while I was, like, punching something, and it scared the ever-loving heck out of me, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose my world. Makes me want to scram, right? Yeah, Blackclad, you're doing Super Flat Hardcore. You know the pain of the golems. You understand. Heck, I think we all have been bonked by a golem really hard. My new sheep farm is so bomb. Ooh, Sally, pick some of the Discord, please. Show us them chefs. My so one of my next goals after I get uh, my material situation sorted is I've got a villager breeder running, which is working pretty good. I just fixed a kink with it today. It was just about where water was placed, so that's fixed. It's literally full of villagers. So I want to get the trading hall set up, and then once we do that, I'm going for a gold farm. Golems are so ridiculously strong. You had a full enchant of iron, still took six and a half hearts. Yep, they strong. Golems and zombie pigeons must have the same let's walk in front of you mechanic. Um, zombie what's now? Are, is they, are these similar to the virgins that Sally is keeping in his refrigerator? <laughs> Tadpole raid, how goes the small core world? Hey, Elkhorn, small core is going great. Have you seen any of the progress in this Elkhorn? I think you were in here the other day when we were in here. I have added to it. Piglins, autocorrect is on point. Listen, can we get zombie pigeons in this game? Cause that sounds amazing. You weren't keeping them in your fridge, <laughs> are you sure? Ooh, says Alcorn. Here, yeah, one sec. So this is like the whole thing, the whole terraforming I've done so far. Oh, by the way, I got free cam. This is a great mod. I love this. Um, so as you can see, we've looped. Only had some left, only like leftovers refrigerated. Gotcha. So we've looped the path up to the top here. This is where we're gonna put our villager trading uh, area. First come. <laughs> Zombie pigeons like the crows from Resident Evil. Yeah. First. Oh yeah, so this is what we've we've got going on here. We added this wheat today. We've just been doing some choppity choppity. Uh, cause I need a lot of resources. Like a lot. The other thing I need to do is sit and just auto mine uh 
cobblestone for like two hours and I don't want to. You're tempted to add refrigerated virgins to the loot list. <laughs> yeah. Quote 14. I may not be reasonable, but I was right. Facts. But Elkhorn, I hope you're doing good today. It's always great to see you. But yeah, small core is going really good. Uh, chat just helped me fix my busted iron farm. As it turned out, it was simply my fault. So we fixed that. Um, I've got a couple of nice farms going on under here. Like the uh, underside of this is um, becoming the industrial sort of redstone area. But more importantly, it's not flat. It's got a shape. But what's sad is this build looks absolutely huge. Um, one sec. Um, it looks absolutely huge, but this, um, top part is only at Y negative 20. <laughs> so it, we're still really low down in the world. Sally's got game. You is you've like seduced like half the things today. I feel like that's a thing. Is that a thing or am I crazy? Dudes, a demon and a borg. Sup? <laughs> Sally's just having the best day. A demon, a borg. What what more could you really want? Yeah, so, slam. So I'm thinking like, I wanna change the material that this is made out of as we kind of raise up into the world. Um, oh, Black Cloud release curdled fish milk soup. Honestly, Black Cloud, why? Um, I wanna like change the textures and stuff. So I'm gonna try to add in like some brown texture to the terraforming, higher up we go. Borg says, please add your biological distinctiveness to our own. That sounds, in the context of this conversation, that sounds questionable. Um, so I'm going to try to use jungle planks and uh, dripstone blocks because um, I'm able to trade with masons for dripstone blocks now, which is pretty nice. Okay, so speaking of phrases like got game, did y'all know that Ryzy is slang for like getting all the ladies it was pointed out recently idk how i feel about it yet i did not know that where is that slang from because i think i've never heard that in my life so not that it's like not true simply that like i wish to know where what part of the world and what language uses this word as that you know what i mean demon perch is cool too i love perch a demon birch. Oh my, a demon borg and you wrote demon birch. Okay. Black Cloud, can we add a monster to the table of monsters? A demon birch? Like, it's like one of the ants from Lord of the Rings, but it's a, it's a bitchy birch tree. Sorry, I had to guys, I had to. Without the eye, I think it's TikTok. Oh geez, TikTok, okay. Getting all the ladies from. Oh dear. <laughs> Turn it, TikTok. Taking all the things and the dread scaffolding. And they said it how people mispronounce my name too. Oh, oh, like instead of Rizy, like Rizzy. Oh dear. Wednesday. Do you have a ball? Did you bring your ball? Oh, you have to bring it actually over here if you want me to throw it. It's currently too far away. Sick. <laughs> oh dear. Now, is the Dread Scaffolding a reference to the Dread Pirate Roberts? Instead of the Dread Pirate Roberts, it's the Dread Pirate Scaff? Because that sounds hilarious. Stop, 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 stop. Did this dude spawn in here? 
That guy had to spawn in that hole whilst I walked over there and looked at the iron farm. That's bonkers. Hi, Moss. That was so scary. Can somebody clip that? That scared me so bad. I cannot believe that. Okay, that has added... Yeah, luckily it wasn't a creeper. I could have died. That has added, like, a whole new world of, like, terrifying possibilities to Minecraft hardcore deaths. Like, who knew Azalea... Like, brutalist Azalea blocks <laughs> were a death Two by one space, valid. Yeah. Wait, you're left-handed. I'm right-handed. Yeah, that was, um, that was scurry. Thank you for the warden roar. Um, that was also scary. I can't believe the skelly did that. That was nuts. Like, yeah, that's technically a valid spawning space, but, like, what in the world? The awesomeness in Princess Bride can come down to that exchange. Yes. Those tree wardens are dangerous creatures. Gotta watch out for tree wardens. Listen, the ants are no joke, alright? How much- yeah, we got a lot. We got so much oak. My name is Ingo Montoya. You killed my father. I tried to die. See guys, now I gotta go watch The Princess Bride today for the like the feel-good vibes. Neither am I. You know what also I've been wanting to watch because I was scrolling through like Instagram reels and I kept seeing references to it was uh, Pride and Prejudice. I haven't watched that in a bit. That's also like a good feel-good movie. I need to watch that. That scene where uh, Mr. Darcy is like walking across the field in his like kind of night clothes but like kind of day clothes and it's like all dewy and stuff. Ah, chef's kiss. So great. Love it. Original Londoner, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? Did you see The Princess Bride told from and reenacted from various actors during COVID lockdown? No. Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Like, did he have a car? Tell me more, tell me more. Sorry, I had to. That was in my head just then. Imagine a harmless Azalea clip has been captured. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Look what you made me do. You made me strip my logs. Look at this. Look. You made me strip my logs. I can't believe you've done this. Thank you for Warden Roar, but you made- look. Look. You made me strip my logs because I pulled my shield up. Ugh. Now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to start all- Oh, and this one too. You made me strip- Making her strip on stream rude. Get out of here, BCG. That has to be against TOS. It is. <laughs> Permaban. I'm losing my account because Silverfish redeemed a Warden Roar. Stripping my locks. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I got a good emote. I subbed to Dame the Dime yesterday because of an emote. And I was like, oh man, I need this emote. Um, there you go. That's That's stripping the logs right there. I'd like to say that Mr. Darcy in the field is amazing. Oh my gosh, yes. Original under, yes. Yes! On Discord, on games and stuff. Okay, I'll look in a minute. <laughs> Nobody needs that emote. I, yes, you do. <laughs> Everyone needs that emote. <laughs> emote is amazing. Are you kidding me? Help. <laughs> so just going, help. Silverhead, you wouldn't be in trouble if you didn't make me strip my logs. That, honestly, that emote is so good. I don't care how cursed it is. That's the best emote I've ever seen. The <laughs> fork butt. I mean, Dame's emotes are great. This is facts. 
see, look at this. All right, okay, really quick, everyone. This is the, the silverfish wall of shame right there. <laughs> In that case, I fall. No, you're good. I'm just giving you a hard time. That was really funny. Like, because of course when I pulled my shield up, it meant I stripped five logs. Blackcloud, are you trying to post links? I don't think you have a sword here. Pug, I have seen the Wednesday show on Netflix. Imagine if destructive mobs that grief blocks were still a thing. I think the warden can break blocks by punching it. Yeah, if they were, like, adding more. Just posting. Ah, okay. I thought you were, like, trying to post a link. And I was like, are you okay? Because it's not going to work. The Princess Bride home movie full. Oh my goodness. That already looks like something that I'm going to have way too much fun watching, Daddy Bones. I'm going to watch all of that. I am counting five strips. Yeah, I got my own structure and small super flat hardcore. Well, it lives there now. I may relocate it to a better place. Is there a redemption to decorate it? There is not. always be a thing. I've also thought about adding like a put my name on a thing. So random fact sinister is the opposite of Dexter. Dexter is right-handed sinister left in English origin. Interesting. Why is that? Gotta add the wall. I didn't do it that time so gotta get good. Okay if TOS wasn't place what fun we'll be having yeah i mean we technically didn't actually do anything against us we're good noodles here we're good noodles you know we just stripped some logs that's it just some logs gotta add to the wall it's a good thing we're gonna be done chopping oak wood after this If at first you don't succeed, well, you know, there's a cooldown on that. <laughs> it's just the English, the old English origin of the word bug. It doesn't actually describe anyone anymore. Being left-handed isn't a bad, bad noodle thing anymore, mostly. Wednesday, what are you doing, goblin? What are you doing crime? Are you gonna go back to seeps? And then you're gonna zoom around the house at one in the morning and wake us up? Is that the plan? I wouldn't be surprised. It comes from boxing. Cooldown, scrim. Yes, a cooldown. The cursed cooldown, the enemy of the silverfish stone. All left handed for sinister. Oh my goodness. But now we've started this. Of me. Because, yeah. Well, there's actually still some cultures where, like, being, like, using our left hand for certain things is frowned upon. Which is interesting. Alright. Did it become, like, at what point today did it become the Scare the Small Cat stream? When, when did that start? Just like out of curiosity, as a, as a, just a, an innocent cat who is out of the loop on this development. When did that start exactly? Anybody want to share? Black clad? Wasn't me. Scrum, scrum. Left-handed people are getting killed by you. Using right-handed things. Oh, look who finally showed up. The Grey Knight. The Dread Pirate Roberts. Not the Dread Pirate Roberts. Why is there a random cobblestone in here? That's sus. That's particularly sus. 
Speaking of Princess Bride. <coughs> the Dread Pirate Roberts. I think that's the first- oh yeah, this is the first time I've crafted a bone block. That's funny. Weird. Okay, we need to go heal this hoe. Wow, that phrase sounded bad. Okay. I'm sorry. Why is it everything we say in Minecraft, like, so casually sounds terrible? Sally Remedies. I read that as remedies? I'm sorry. Sally readies their hands, perform me some gestures, and incantate some words. They launch three magic missiles at the Dread Pirate Roberts, and they all hit dealing seven force damage. Very nice. See, this is the perfect... <laughs> Heal this hoe, Pug. Heal this hoe. We have to heal it. Yes. <laughs> Everything we say sounds terrible. Honestly, though, like video game talk taken out of context, heal, heal, heal the tool. Heal, oh, yeah, not kill, heal. Not quite, guys, not quite. A lot of things sound terrible out of context, like things that are villager related or farm that's called a cow crusher. Yes, the cow crusher. Heal this toe. My foot. My cabbages. <laughs> this toe. My cabbages. Do I have a bed? Nah. I've never built a cow crusher and you never will. I have. Those are so convenient. Are you kidding? Hashtag worth. I remember the first time I mentioned a cow crusher on stream and the community was very much like, the what? <laughs> yeah! Well, I learned it from Waddles. Of all people. Cow crushing seems so base. Cow crushing is absolutely the way. Are they convenient for the cows? That's not the point. It's over <laughs> It's not the point. The point is they're convenient for the me from Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. The cabbages. Poor guy was just trying to sell cabbages and instead all of his stock repeatedly destroyed by Avatar antics. Or someone saying that they're going to put a dolphin in a tiny square for dolphin grace. Yep. But like, one sec, I gotta put my villagers in this zombie villager converter. You know, you gotta re-zombify them. Baby chicken scorchers. Jeez. I learned about it on the first server I played on. Pretty sure the person who made it watched Waddles, though. Yeah, I- that's who I saw it from. And I was like, oh yeah, this is convenient. Um, one of the players on our server is, like, vehemently against the cow crusher and gives me crap about it all the time. Um, listen. It works really well. Small, would you eat a what? Crunchy. <laughs> okay, let's try to read this word that Blackcloud just said. Crunchy. Crunchy. I would not eat a crunchy item. I might eat a crunchy item. A crunchy chick, is it made from <laughs> the version Sally's gaping in the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> you ate a bullet. What? There is so much. There's so many weird things that have been said today. It's really been typo. <laughs> Charunchki. <laughs> yes, this food is very Charunchki. Oh, I wish I had like a, a crinkly wrapper right now, like a like a candy wrapper that I could like crinkle in. The <laughs> it was crunchy. <laughs> like something that I could like <laughs> into the mic just for. Her. <laughs> for Sharunchki. In my current world, I have a rule not to kill any peaceful mobs. It's working fine so far. Ah. Uh, listen, sometimes horses gotta catch these hands. You know what I mean? Wow, out of context. Ginger! Ginger! 
hello. You just came in at such an interesting time in the conversation. Oh, has this got respiration on it? What oh, do I got on here? Respiration too. Okay, well, we'll leave this here for later. Listen, sometimes horses, they gotta catch these hands. Oh, balut is an actual thing, but it's cursed. Okay, I'm here for it. What are we talking about? Um, Silverfish has a world where they're not killing any passive mobs. And I said, that's cool. Um, but sometimes horses got to catch these hands <laughs> because it's really ginger. It's really been such a, a stream of cursed typos and weird things. Like it just, it's just been a thing today. It really has just been a thing. My friends bought for me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, rise has got it. It's just been a thing today. Like it's been, there's been so much cursed content today, but the horses, they just, you got, sometimes they gotta catch these hands. I don't know. Like blue. Oh no. Is this like the, the bear from the jungle book? Is that what we're talking about? I don't even know. Okay. There's one more thing I want to do today. Squids and Igwin children are exceptions. Okay. Good to know. Very important. There's one other thing we need to do today. It's like really important. We have to. We have to go on a small adventure. Momentarily. Blue is whale lover. Oh dear. Yep, it's gonna get cursed, isn't it? Sometimes chat is just cursed, followed by particularly cursed emotes. Yes, sometimes chat is just cursed. And you know what? It can't help it. It's how they is. I may have gotten that wrong. That's okay. I need... Uh, what do I need? I need, like, a seed. Specifically, like, one seed. Yeah, there we go. We're going on an adventure. It's a duck egg? Oh. At a certain stage. Is this, like, similar to, like, a century egg? Sally? Is this, like, a century egg? The crunchy stage? Oh, Sally, no. Oh, cursed. Cursed. Black Cloud, that's also cursed. I'm sorry, Sally takes the win for most cursed comment talking about the stage at which eggs are crunchy. I'm sorry, but that's too cursed for me. It's festival cursed. Alright guys, we're on a... We're on a quest. We're looking for, for chimkins. We're looking for chickens. Here, chickies. Small... It's a... Developed egg. Oh, gross. I'm sorry. That, that, you know, I don't want to like yuck anybody else's yum, but I could not physically eat that. I would die instantly. Straight to some Sir Stroming and Durian. You know, I would like to try Durian because I feel like it's one of those things that like others find disgusting, but like I might like it. Durian and fish cream soup. No fish cream soup. Oh no. You duck inside. Sir Strumming, on the other hand, no. Isn't it like you have to open that underwater? You ate that and durian? Sally, you are a brave, brave soul. Come here, Mr. Chicken. You're gonna get us killed. Bears. Slimes. Durian, they say stinks so bad. Yeah, it's a, it's smelly. Come on, chickens. Going home. I don't think you're allowed to say that, Sally. <laughs> you're definitely not allowed to say that word. I'm gonna delete your message in the ban the word. <laughs> I'm not gonna ban you, but I am gonna delete that comment. That's all. Come on, chickens. Baby duck, Sag. Oh, and then you said it in another comment, so I have to delete that one. <laughs> you take it. Sally, be a good noodle. Yeah, apparently durian smells disgusting. Someone said 
of Dushian. Smells like him, tastes like- oh my god. <gasps> ah! That's how it tastes. Why do you know that? Tainted love? No, stop. Oh my gosh. Do not sing tainted love about durian fruit. <laughs> Why is today like this? Why has today been this way? He was mad. Oh my god, Sally. <laughs> I'm dead. Can we just end the stream on this? Like, we'll just be done here. We're like, all right, you know what? This is good. This is where we're done. Silverfish is going to hiding. Hello, everyone. This is uh, my contractually obligated time to remind everyone that this is not a family friendly stream. And this never has been. My contractually obligated to remind everyone. Okay, we got some, some chickens. Well, well, I like how we all stopped it, talking or fighting the Dread Pirate Roberts to just immediately go to dealing with whatever this conversation is. How long have I been live? Two hours. Ah, but I'm not sleepy and I'm full of crime. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a small break right at the... Wait. Right at like the most uh, appropriately cursed period of time to do so. I'm gonna take a tiny break and then we're probably gonna go for like another 30, 40 minutes. So I will be back in a hot second. We're gonna run an ad to produce pre rolls. I promise you won't miss anything. Watch this adorable gif of a cat attacking a ball. So I, I come back and Sally is injured. Oh dear. Ginger says, I need food. Ginger, you should get food. Very important. Um, hurts himself. Blackclad runs over and sings, once I ran to you, now I'll run from you. This tainted taste you've given, I'll give you a fruit. Couldn't you all a fruit could if you take my tears and that's not nearly all. Oh, tainted love, tainted love. 
tries to heal Sally. Sally goes, don't touch. The healing power of Durian. Or the healing word was Durian. What in the world? <laughs> what is happening? Ginger is feeling 20% chaos. Oh my goodness. Silverfish doing a heck of a lot of cursed weapon. You have tasty ribbons made of sandwich. That sounds delicious. Thank you for the welcome back. It just seems that chaos be happening right now. It do feel like chaos. You know what I mean? Look at all these chunkins. Dibs. I hope my zombie my village didn't die. Oh, the oh good, there's a creeper in my lake. We're singing soft cell. Thank you for welcome back. Crime, 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 crime. It's been a crime stream. Today has been 100% crime all the time. Oh, Taint, the uh, best songs for the ages. But is it the best song for the ages when sung about Durian? That's the question. Oh, I don't need this chicken anymore, but he can he can stay. He chill. He, he cool. Well, he's not, because he's a chicken. But he can stay for now. Should I stab him, Ginger? Oh, also, do you like my horde of villagers? I could do that. I was just coming to check that this guy hadn't died. It's fine. He, ch he chill. I need to put new shears in here. Definitely tasty burb. Oh, it's the wandering pain in my butt. Look at him. Come here, my dude. Hey, what do you got? What do you got? If you have spruce, I won't kill you. All right, guys, listen. If this guy has spruce saplings, I promise 100% I won't kill him. All right, he will get to live on as the most wonderful villager. Useless. But he's got ice. Oh, holy crap. He's got ice. That's amazing. I need that so that I can build a raid farm. I need ice. This is amazing. He's also got small drip leaf, which is admittedly cool. Actually good, right? Yeah. Let's get ourselves some more useless. Oh, he has ice. I mean, useful now. Just don't despawn, my dude. Don't despawn. I need. If he despawns, I will actually lose my mind. Actually good. It's amazing when the Wandering Trader is actually good. Vanilla Ice or Ice Ice Baby? They're the same song. If you listen closely, they're the same song. Ice. Collaborate and listen. This is back with a brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Pull like a harpoon daily and night. Will it ever stop? No. I don't know. Ice! Ice! All right, listen, my dude. You get to live this time, but you're on thin ice, my dude. Bring the spruce. Bring the spruce. I'm not kidding with you. Burb, oh burb, with feathers so fine. Your chirping and tweets are such a delight. You soar through the sky with such grace and ease. Your beauty is unmatched. You're a sight to see and you tasty. Okay. A burb? Small drip leaf. Right? Small drip leaf? Makes a texture pack for small so she can have cat-related DUI and then sneaks in a durian for apples. Honestly, though? I'll accept it. Durian smells horrible and has a... A what taste? If you squint your ears, it's the same song. Stockholm Syndrome. Thin eyes. Love it. It's actually Sir Strong. Love him like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? No? I don't know. Night like a vandal. Hey, don't can do dance. All right, I'm calm now. All right, but like guys, we have some ice. That's so cool. We need more so that we can get um, we can make raid farm. But progress. All right, that wandering villager. I don't know that word. What is Oslo? I don't know. It did seem sus that we hadn't got a wandering trader in so long, to be fair. You know what I mean? Like, that seems sus. Yeah, what is that word? I honestly, Sally, I think you might be making this word up at this point. 
Like, I think you might be. No, I'm not doing it. You can't trick me. I can't be tricked. No, no, no. Can't trick me. It's too fast. Too furious. Names apples to taste its tainting durian. Wouldn't durian be named tasted tainted apples? Fast ten drinks of pills. I'm sorry, what? Oh, the puns. The puns. Also, like, really quick though, I said I wouldn't kill that wandering trader, but like I want his llamas. This is a problem. Legally, I think I'm not allowed to kill him after I did give my word on stream, like on camera, where I could be seen. But like, I do want his mama dope. So like, what if, what if there was like some accidental off-camera lobbying? Both him or the llamas? Yeah. That's technically true, but that's just like not as fun. Technically true, but like not in the spirit of what I was hoping to accomplish. First eat Islama and then sacrifice him. I think we're not, not allowed to sacrifice him. I just want the cream color. Please no. Okay. You know what? Silverfish asked nicely. I won't murder him. I will simply take the llamas. That's technically not killing him. Blackbud Wanderer wants to sacrifice the creator llamas for the glory of the pizza fish cult. The llamas will die. See, we're just saving them. We're just saving them from him. He's a terrible care caregiver of llamas. You know, he doesn't care about them. He doesn't probably tell them how cute they are. I have to keep this one a big time. Oh. <laughs> Sally, it doesn't seem like anyone's going to call you out on your made-up word. I'm sorry. This is unfortunate for you, but I don't think anyone's calling you out. Like... Do you want to- Thomas, do you want to- Yeah, there you go. Like, I don't know why they, like, sometimes take forever to kick you off. Have you noticed the trader has a new set of llamas every time? I did not. That does continue to increase my suspicions of him being a bad llama owner. This guy mistreats llamas. Ah, oh, Sally, I just Googled that word. Get out of here. Get out of here, I'm not saying that on stream. Can't trick me. He sells the llamas? He does. What a cruel llama owner. Oh my goodness, Sally. It truly has been Cursed Stream Day. Everyone, welcome to Cursed Tuesday. From now on, Tuesday streams are Cursed Tuesday, where we discuss. Sally is far too cursed today. Yeah. Wait, everyone. Time out, pause. Quick question. Time out. <laughs> Sally, are you okay? <laughs> like, is this about the car again? Do we need to talk? <laughs> cursed Catterday? Ooh, Cursed Catterday. <laughs> you were born cursed. <laughs> like, oh, also, Villager is on Thin Ice Baby. <laughs> ice Ice Baby was also clipped. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Villager's on Thin Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> That's fine. Why does it always have to be clipped? Listen, as long as nobody clipped the like, I'm gonna, sometimes you just have to throw hands with horses or whatever it was, I'm fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, 
I like Cursed Catterday, Blacklad, but like Cursed Tuesday? I, Clam, hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, it's, um, it's just, it's been a day. Clam, it's really been a day. There was a clip of throwing hands at horses. Dang it. No, you're not supposed to throw the horse hands. I mean, wood strippage. There was stripping. Don't throw hands at horses. No, Sally, listen. Sometimes you just gotta throw hands with horses. What was it I said exactly? Like, sometimes horses gotta- No, I said sometimes horses have to catch these hands. You miss stripping? Yes. Okay, Ginger, listen. <laughs> Ginger, you have no idea the nonsense that's gone on today. I owned horses, Sally. I believe me, I know. This is Silverfish's wall of stripping shame because he redeemed a warden roar whilst I was chopping down like a ton of wood at once. And so because I pulled my shield up, I stripped a bunch of logs. So it was like that. So this is Silverfish's wall of stripping shame. Of stripped shame. The only reason they don't is because they're stupid, <laughs> yes. That's- unfortunately, horses are 1200 pounds of too dumb to realize that they are dangerous. Or smart enough to know they are dangerous. <laughs> you IRL don't throw hands at horses unless you know. Yeah. I mean, it's not a good idea. But like, sometimes in Minecraft, horses gotta catch these hands. And this, Ginger, is why today has been officially the most nonsensical cursed stream i like i don't know what i was having a really terrible day to be completely honest and i was really not feeling up to streaming and then i was like yeah you know what we'll do a chill stream we're just gonna chop some trees like it'll be fine and then this happened so like first tuesday i rode horses once and i quickly realized that like the concept of horses more than the actual horses yes technicolor sheps is so far my fave you know what's funny though, Black Cloud? I love the Technicolor Jerks uh, clip, but that one did really terrible on YouTube Shorts. I don't know if I just like didn't do it right or something, but like that one did not get very many views. At least for making me smile. Yes, that's true, Pug. That's true. I was like real close to putting my job today though. Like I got, I got within like I don't know, like twenty minutes of like mental crisis to like just resigning from my job. Uh, like via email and you know I, I got out of that it's fine now I was just grumpy I'll get over it I do kind of want a new job though I shall have it on repeat for you then oh thank you I, yeah I was just really confused not into but like the idea of yes of horses or <laughs> silverfish look what you made me do you think- I think you're gonna go just drop in to say hi. Alright, clan. Thank you for stopping in. Hope you have a great night. Guys, we have to add to Silverfish's wall of stripped shame. Dang it, Silverfish. How dare you take advantage of my survival instincts like this. Here. Here. You guys are cool, but I've been watching streams for around five hours. I need some alone time with your thoughts and music. Honestly, Clam, so fair. Totally 100% fair. Please take care of yourself. We appreciate you stopping by anyways. Enjoy your alone time. Hug has to seduce. We can't beat it. Oh no. Oh dear. More for the wall. Gotta go. Dinner time for me too. All right, Silverfish. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thankfully, now we hopefully won't add any more to the wall of stripped shame. Enjoy your noms. Wait, wait, wait. I seduced myself? Ginger, how did you do that? Attack seduce. Ginger Lily walks up to Ginger the Lily and seduces them. I mean... 
Well? Well? I, you know what? I actually have nothing in response to that. I got nothing good to say to that. That's just ta talent, Ginger. Straight talent right there. Need some alone time, Ginger. <laughs> what is happening today? It's so... That is so wild today. I love it. Uh, can I say show though? Um, yeah, the music is all a playlist on Pretzel Rocks, so we don't do song requests also because of DMCA strikes, so we can't play any copyright music. But, uh, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. A party for yourself, me, myself, and I. <laughs> You know, everyone everyone needs some some time for themselves, Ginger. <laughs> prowess. Sally's shows off their magical prowess and juggles some magical flames. Ooh. Listen, if there's any talent that we know is the most filled with prowess and the most impressive, it's juggling. Because I can't juggle for shit. Is the prowess of female brow yet? Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> Wish me luck, you wanna attack yourself, fuck. Yeah, um, well, you know, you never know what might, what might happen, as it turns out. Llamas, like actually, though, it's the prow that she. We don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. I just appreciate that today, chat woke up and chose violence. Another word coming from old words. Oh no. Okay. Skurred. Skurred. You woke up and chose coughing? Oh no, Ginger, are you still not feeling good? I hope you feel better soon. That sucks. between spike and a chalice no clue sally no clue you're asking the wrong cat hello there hello there dossie hello welcome in how are you doing good to see you dossie welcome to curse tuesday where we're doing we're talking about curse content today so if you have anything uh cursed that you just need to talk about you know this is the place slowly getting better but the next stream could have frequent muting gotcha well definitely take care of yourself if you're not ready you know if you're not ready but hopefully you'll be feeling better tomorrow and you can stream chop 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 Is there anything more satisfying than this, like, chopping a bunch of trees down? Asking for a cat? Ah! 
hug. Thank you for meow. Nods. Ow. I should not have done that. I should really stop just like letting myself take damage in a hardcore world for like no discernible reason. Fast chat something. Small, you're going uncursed. Okay. So that means less curse. Hope you're well. Just at work. Today is finally the first day I don't feel sick since Christmas. So that's good. Oh, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Sorry that you were sick during Christmas. That's very unfortunate. Okay, Silverfish is gone, so we can kill this wandering trader. I'm just gonna get my boat back. No more fish milk? Honestly, I support that. I'm here, so no murder. Okay, I guess. If I have to. But, like, we could do a murder. Who's gonna tell Silver? Nobody. We're safe. You've never done murder, Blackclad? <laughs> small? <laughs> Blackclad and Small doing murders? Never. Thanks. I don't mind the time since we don't celebrate Christmas, but it meant I could talk to Tadpole couldn't scare me on Twitch. Or I couldn't talk so Tadpole couldn't scare me on Twitch. Aw, uh, yeah, that's no fun. Yeah, guys, if you didn't know, Dossie is streaming now, so definitely check out Dossie. If I screw up this shoutout, I'm sorry. Because this shoutout thing has been messing with me only once so far but you did stream so that is progress more will come can't wait and there do be sound alert it is about two and a half hours since i went live it is 10 30 at night almost here I'm actually kind of really hungry, so I need to go make food before I go to bed. But like, I need to make that food and be in bed at a reasonable hour. Work. Which, like, it work, but also work. So I think this is where we're going to call it for first Tuesday. Although it was quite fun. Oh wait, I don't want sticks. Get out of there. some stuff in the chest really quick. Why do I have so much junk? No, says Blackclad. I'm sorry, I have to. I have to go to sleep. Um, so before we do end, um, my goal is to have the next episode I can't end yet. Is Sally, is there like a specific tangible reason that I can't end stream right now? Like, do you know that like someone's about to raid in at this second, exact for example? Um, no worries. Thanks, Black Cloud. Have a great one. Don't forget to have smoke for Wednesday. You're wilting. You should probably go to sleep soon. I agree, Ginger. Um, okay, sorry. Back to what I was saying. I'm hoping to have the next episode of Super Flat out on Thursday. <clears throat> Tangible, yes. Um, Thursday morning. That's my goal. It I will it depends on how much work I get done terraforming tomorrow and how much editing I can do. But I'm hoping once I get home from work, I can just bang out like four hours of editing and have it done. If not, the goal is Friday. Um, so if you don't follow me on YouTube, I would really appreciate if people checked out my YouTube. Oh, my headphones are dying. Um, because I am uh, posting videos of super flat hardcore there and just like other random things. So if you're interested, I really would appreciate you check it out. Um, but let's see who is live on Twitch that we can go pester.
Yep, we got somebody. Thanks, Rizzy. Thanks, Sally. Let's feed. Subbed on YouTube too. Thank you. Thanks, Aldi. Good to see you. All right, guys, we're going to send everybody over to Casual Carrot. It looks like they might be on break. They're playing some words on stream, but their title does say Minecraft. Here is the link to Casual Carrot in case the raid leaves you behind. And here is the raid message. If you have a sub, do the hashtag small raid and the little raid emotes. If you are not sub, whatever hashtag you got and some cute emotes would be wonderful. Um, but thank you guys all so much. Thank you again to Tadpole and Master Shifu for the raids. I really appreciate it. Take care, friends. Won't see you in his stream. All right, Aldi. Have a great night. We appreciate you. All right, everybody. Thank you again so much. I've been Small Cats. Let's go say hi to Casual Carrot. Have a great night.